Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Hello and welcome to the bright Savannah. Hopefully you guys are all having a bright and shiny day. I'm recording this on St. Paddy's Day, so hopefully you guys are all out enjoying the faux Irish festivities. Let's get started with level 3-1 Grassland Grove. This level greatly reminds me of Lion King. You'll see why in a moment. It's very lively. Just makes you want to get out there and party. One of the things you'll notice in this level, for some reason, the uh, game developers are very keen on this mechanic of uh, cutting grass. So I'm not sure why, but they really like it. And uh, you're going to be doing it a lot if you want to collect everything. So just be mindful of that. Also, who doesn't love dancing treats? Come on, that's exciting. The music is exciting. It kind of has like, oop, that's not exciting. The music is exciting. It was even cheering me on. It's like, jump into this pit. The trees are dancing. The characters are dancing. The platforms are dancing. Everything is just having a good darn time. Having a good gosh dang time. So yes, just get very used to cutting the grass. Let's take a moment and dance with this tree. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. Not to, oh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, this level is a good, uh, a good start to this world. There is a ton of puzzle pieces, though. There are, there is, is are. There's a lot. There's a lot of puzzle pieces. I believe there's nine. So that's the first one. We have quite a few to collect here today. As per usual, we're going to be doing two levels. Oop. Go ahead and cut that grass. Grab them nanners. Oh, get out of here. I'm trying to do yard work. In certain cases, cutting the grass will even create platforms. So on top of the fact that we are doing some very much needed landscaping, we are also creating architecture. So here at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves on being able to have our workplace contributions be multi-purpose. Oh, dang it, that was dumb. I sacrificed Dixie for a life, and I didn't even need it. Oh boy, I'm not timing anything right today. It's probably also because I'm still a little bit under the weather, as you can probably tell from my voice. Hopefully this is the last episode in which I am. I don't plan to do any more recording until I am back at 100%, okay. Gonna do my best to stay on target here with my uploading schedule. I did miss some episodes recently, but I'm gonna try to avoid doing that, obviously, because I'm committed to what I'm doing. I want you guys to make sure that you're getting consistent content at all times. Oop, oop, nope. <laughs> I promise this level isn't really that difficult, but I'm making it look like it is. So I'm a ding dong. But you know what? Honestly, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe as people watch these episodes and they're like, man, he really makes that look difficult as you play it. And then you find out that it actually isn't, you know, that's kind of like a mental boost. Be like, oh yeah, well like, you know, he sucks at this game, but I don't. So therefore, check mark, awesome. So you're welcome. I'm all about boosting mental health. I feel like that's kind of a good thing. Also, I love these platforms. That one kind of looks like uh, a meerkat, like Timon from Lion King. Also, who doesn't love Lion King? Like, what a great movie. Referring to the... Oh, nope, I need that. Come back. Oh, I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Referring to the animated original, not the uh, computer-generated slash in real life version. I haven't actually seen that, so I don't know if it is good or not. Chime in, viewers. Is it good? Is that good? Did you, did you enjoy that one? Was it a hoot for you? Okay, we've got a bit of a bit of a barrel here. Maybe we'll blast into it. 
How about it? Get yourself another hidden puzzle piece, sort of. I mean, it wasn't really that hidden, but... One of the things you're going to have to do a lot is uh, be mindful of things that are hidden in the tall grass. And you might want to just jump onto these cool animal puppets, but you don't want to do that quite yet. Instead, mow some more grass. It's getting around that time that you're going to start doing that anyway, right? Okay. There's the O. Don't miss it. Oop. I like to get that band coin. This is one of those areas where I'm not entirely sure if you need to get everything or not, so I just do it by and large. This spot, though, you will want to collect all these bananas before you jump into that barrel. Doing so will net you a prize. Okay, this is bouncing around a little bit too much for me. Remember when I was doing some research about this? Also, hooray, balloons! Who doesn't love balloons? Doing some research about this, and uh, someone referred to this as a purple giraffe? That's clearly a zebra. I say a lot of stupid stuff, but at least I know my animals. I'm actually going to tell you an animal fun fact here in a moment. Well, not in this level, but in the next one. So you're welcome. So let's, uh, let's show some respect. I'm by no means an animal expert, but I do know a couple things. There's another puzzle piece. Oops. Having Dixie back is awesome. It refills our hearts. Also gives us that patented upward boost. We love that. All right. So far, so good. Yeah, this one has a lot of um, has a lot of puzzle pieces to it, which I think is interesting. They're not particularly difficult to get, which I really appreciate because sometimes when there's a lot of puzzle pieces and they're unnecessarily tricky or kind of cryptic, it can make it a little bit frustrating to get all of them. And if this is like one of your first times playing, obviously it can be a little overwhelming. So, okay. So get all the bananas, banana coins. That will net you this blast barrel for a bonus. Shoot inside that big old hole. Let's explore that deep dark cavern. Turns out it's a bonus level. This is one of the bonus levels that I think I actually prefer the most besides just the barrel blasting ones. Cause there's only the two trampolines on the bottom, which is pretty reasonable. The ones where it's a ton of trampolines, I'm not quite as good with those ones. So I guess like I'm calling it unreasonable, but that's just because I suck at it, but, you know, manageable. Maybe they're all manageable. Maybe you're just amazing and I'm not. I don't know. I would like to celebrate quality gameplay of this amazing game. Okay. So speaking of, uh, of Disney games, Disney games, no. Speaking of Disney movies, because this one makes me think of Lion King. Speaking of that, how do we feel about Disney movies? Like, do we have a favorite from when we were a little kid? Do we have any, any ones in particular that resonate with us, that make us feel young again whenever we watch them? It's kind of fun to, to go back and kind of replay through some of the classics and see if they still hold up for you. That's, that's something that's always interesting to do. There's a lot of different places now where you can even acquire said Disney movies, where back in the day it was actually kind of tough. Because there was that thing called the Disney Vault, where Disney would periodically release movies, and they would be really tough to get a hold of sometimes. So, it's good that uh, on various streaming services, and maybe you want to sail the high seas, I don't know, you can watch all your favorite Disney classics, all your favorite classics. I'd say one of my favorite classics as a kid. It's maybe a little bit off the beaten path a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. But it was mainly just because the music was really good and it was music done, I believe, almost, oh, and we're dead. It was music done almost exclusively, I believe, by William Joel. Big fan of uh, Oliver and Company. That was a good one for me. Really enjoyed that. I think that's, that's correct. I mean, correct me if I am wrong, but I do believe that William Joel was the one who wrote the music for that wonderful movie with the uh, with the kitty, all over the kitty. 
it's a great movie. I don't really remember what happens in it because I haven't seen it in ages, but you know, that's kind of one of the fun things that's like when you haven't seen those types of movies is especially like when you're getting older and, and you know, you're you're aging gracefully like I am is uh whoa this is like a roller coaster getting, don't want to mind up getting snake bit here we go Whoop. oh <laughs> that was almost super cool and then it wasn't great but yeah to go back and just you know enjoy those movies and you have like a different frame of reference you'll watch a movie as a kid or maybe a television show and you know things mean something to you at different ages so you'll go back and you'll watch stuff and you know you'll have a different interpretation potentially you'll feel a certain way that maybe you didn't you'll still have that nostalgia but in general you know media over time will usually wind up having some sort of a different meaning for you which I think is interesting a good example that I think of is like uh, when I was a kid of course, I was a big fan of the old Spongebob's. Big fan of that show. And uh, yeah, it had a lot of interesting themes and messaging in it, which I feel like were a little bit... Um, a little bit ahead of its time. And it's a very silly and stupid show, to be completely honest. But there's some writing in it that is... It went over my head as a kid. You know, probably might still as an adult, who knows? But it would go over my head as a kid, and I didn't quite get it. And that's just because it was like more adult themed. And I don't know, maybe there's like certain people who make content on YouTube that do that too, I don't know. But you might not catch all the inside jokes and all the funny side commentary. But, uh, you know, as life moves on, like we do for through this game into the level 3-2, the Bawa... Bawa Bab? Bo I don't know how you say this. The Boa Bab Bonanza. But we got some spiky nuts that we're dealing with today. I don't know if these are, you know... Geographically accurate. I don't know if this game is trying to be. But, uh, yeah. If that is, like, the size of something that that falls from a tree, I would be terrified to live in an area where those types of things exist. Oh my goodness, would not, would not enjoy that. All right, so we're gonna keep on. Yeah, like these things are huge. Like they're, they're larger than a full grown gorilla. Yeah, no thank you. One of the things we do wanna get soon, hopefully, is access to Dixie. That sounds really inappropriate. But, uh, we need her power. But don't worry. In the meantime, we're still doing okay as Donkey Kong. You're going to want to use these weird leaning flowers to smash open this trap door and find another bonus room. All right, here we go. And this one is a static platform. I mean, the platform, I don't know why I said that. The platforms are not static. However, there are no trampolines, no bouncy, no bouncy platforms, which I prefer. There's just too much risk involved. And as per my risk assessment, the return on investment was not high in those sorts of ventures, so I prefer to avoid them. Here at DMike Industries, we are low risk, high reward. Buy low, sell high, whatever. Okay, here we go. So we have Dixie back. That's wonderful. And I still haven't really gotten to show off the Kong power that we have when we're both together. So I'll try to do that the next time that there's a prevalent amount of enemies on the screen. We'll see if we can find them as we dodge these nuts. Oh, okay. Or just get hit right in the face. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a test because these things will be very. Oh man, this is bad. They're gonna be all throughout this level, so you know, just prepare yourself for that. 
And it's only going to get worse. So. Things are going to get kind of crazy. You just got to get really good at dodging them nuts so they don't hit you right in the face. You don't want that. Some of them are kind of like a medium size and there's some real big ones. Oof. That was dumb. But you could see from above, there is another puzzle piece up there, which I don't think you necessarily need Dixie, but it definitely helps. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our special power. When you clap hands, let us clap our hands and we get, oops. <laughs> I love the pity hover at the end. Oh boy. Oh boy, that was not my best. But thankfully there is a Dixie barrel right around the corner. All right. I'm not a fan of that bird. For as non-existent as it is, it sure gets under my skin. All right. So we're going to get back at it. Yeah, this level's a little tricky. You got to get you got to get you got to get good. Get good at dodging. I say that like I am and no universe is that true. But a free Dixie Barrel is true, and we will accept the generous offering. Thank you very much. All right. Now, I don't know if we want to grab... Oh, okay. Well, that was not on purpose. I'm losing my edge a little bit. Thankfully, though, as I mentioned in the previous episode of Pokemon, if you watched that one, if you're following along all the series. Hopefully you are. I know that there's some content that some people maybe don't necessarily prefer, but hopefully my consistency and my commentary will keep you hanging around. But anyway, as I mentioned in my previous Pokemon video, which will hopefully be the only other video where I sound like this. Can I not jump on that? Oh, maybe you can't climb that stem. Maybe that's it. That stem does not want to be grabbed. You know what? You can't just be going around grabbing people's stems. You can't do that. It's not a vine. It's disrespectful. But anyway, hopefully this will be the last video in which I do sound like this. Although, I say that and I might still have to cook up a Super Nintendo Sundays. But anyway. I am feeling on the mend, but one of the tricky... Oh, okay, so it did want you to use that very obviously placed barrel. Oh, what? My iframes caused me to dip through that flower. All right, this is starting to get embarrassing. I promise I am not this bad. I don't pre-play these levels, though, so... Part of the reason why I may be looking a little bit vulnerable when I play is because I am... Here at D Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on never making excuses, but coming up with legitimate rationale that you can all appreciate and enjoy. So, one of the, what I was trying to say before I clip this flower is uh, I'm just kind of at the point now where I'm like well enough that I don't need to, you know. Oh, that I just I clipped to that bird. This is bad. I don't need meds, which is nice. I was taking them pretty consistently at the origin of this illness to help me find equilibrium, but I am thankful now that I have not really been taking any medication. All just over-the-counter stuff, the old OTC. I'm down with OTC. Yeah, you know me. So. My brain is a little bit less foggy. Does anybody ever get that brain fog? You take those really heavy medications, whether it's for like a cold or the flu, or you know, maybe you wind up having a uh, some allergies. I know that that's really common for a lot of people, especially now that it's going to be springtime. A lot of people dread springtime because of the uh, because of the pollen and stuff. Also, fun fact: here it is. This, my friends, is a buffalo. I can't tell if it has... Is it wearing a necklace? Oh, it's a lady buffalo. So in the United States, especially, we like to incorrectly refer to bison as buffalo. However, they're not actually related. Oh, and it just killed itself. Oh, well, 
That might have been the last one in the entire world, and now they're extinct. So, here at DMIC Industries, we like to pride ourselves on showing you pieces of history. But yes. So that's the actual buffalo. What we have here in the United States is the North American, and in Canada, is the North American bison. So, there's your fun animal fact. That is actually true, so... I don't remember where I learned that. Maybe at my local zoo, which has bison, which is neat. I also am aware of, um, I believe somewhere in my area, there might be a, uh, a local park that has bison just hanging out. So if you uh, get a chance, go to your local parks, support your parks. I'm sure the people that run the park systems would appreciate your support. Also, just going to the park is just fun. You know, maybe you got a dog or cat or whatever. You know, ooh, that's a nice amount of bananas as we get that puzzle piece. Can I get up there? But yeah, go out there and enjoy nature. Go support, go support Mother Earth. She likes that. For all she does for us, there's, that's the least we can do for her. All right, let's grab this banana for as poorly as I'm playing right now. It's actually not a bad idea. All right, so we gotta go quickly here. Make sure you grab all the bananas and the banana coin. Oop. Oh, we are dead. So that's timed. And I feel like we've missed a puzzle piece, so we might have to go back and get one. I feel like this last puzzle piece is supposed to be the finale, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, excuse you. Excuse you, lady. Lady! I just want to pull this plug. Can you just bump off? Please. Thank you. Go away. Oh! She's like, see ya, bye! Oh no, I'm falling into this pit! Alright. So I feel like... Yeah, I do... I do feel like I missed one of the um one of the puzzle pieces potentially because i think that the final puzzle piece that i was just trying to acquire which you would if you successfully outrun the giant nut giant nut you uh that's where you get it it wasn't really anywhere else that looked considerably obvious so we will find out. We'll grab our freebie life. Don't really need it. Alright, here we go. So you gotta move quick here. You rattle that big nut. You gotta use your your best game making playing uh, whatever abilities. And you gotta grab the G real quick. And then climb up. Yes, so I do believe we missed something because that's only six. Oops. So we will have to come back. All right, so that felt pretty good, right? Okay, so we will dip back in really quickly. We might have forgotten to mow some grass. Yeah, that last bit's a little maybe anxiety provoking, who knows? Who doesn't want more of this level? I actually wonder if those trees i've heard you know different things like when i was a kid about those types of trees in africa which i'm assuming this is being modeled after because it's the savannah but um it makes me wonder if those like act of like the trees with like the nuts that are falling down or the fruit like whatever these are if those are actually edible if those are you know biologically accurate to the area. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some sort of element of truth to them. I would imagine Retro Studios probably did a decent amount of research to figure that out. Okay, it's not that one. We done we done got that one. All right. It always really frustrates me whenever I'm going through these levels and there's just like one small thing that I somehow forget. Oops, did not mean to roll there. It's always a bit of a bummer, but hey, you guys are getting more content. Sure, you're not too upset about that. You're watching these videos and you're like, I wish he would just make less content. I hate content. 
Yeah, I feel like there's got to be something that I, um, that I didn't grab. Some sort of a platform around here. This is B. This is B. Wow. Listen to that English. This would be a nice situation where if I was to, like, stream this game, you know, having viewers like you in my back pocket could point out what I'm doing wrong, which with as often as it happens, might overtake the stream. So anyway. But speaking of that, that's something that I've been considering. I don't know. I mean, I have the... I do have the resources to do it. Streaming is what I'm referring to. Um, I haven't quite gone into that yet because I wanted to develop a bit of a foothold in the YouTubes and get back to making curated content like this. Oops. Wait. We're still... Nope. Okay. Great! Our return visit is not going so hot. But yeah, I, I've uh, I've considered dipping my toes into the old streamings. Maybe in the not too distant future. It is something that seems kind of fun, and I feel like part of the reason why I'm interested in it is, you know, people have different motivations for doing anything, but. For me, I guess, like, the big thing... Did I get this one? I did, okay. The big thing for me is just that I feel like there's some content that isn't really good. It isn't really meant for a traditional Let's Play. There are certain genres of games that just don't quite fit. And don't let me be the one to tell you what to do. However, I know that me personally... I, um, I have games that I want to play that I know that if I was a viewer, I don't know how I would feel about watching them knowing that, uh, oop, bye, see ya. They're just, it might be a little bit too tedious, you know, like, um, I guess an example to not be so cryptic about it. I think of like a, uh, there's gotta be something on these, right? Oh, maybe I need to get these bananas. These bubbles. Bubble bubble bananas? Banubbles? Do these turn into anything? Come here. Maybe these are just endless bananas. I don't know. That could potentially be it. I will try for a moment longer. These look like these are just kind of endless. Getting plenty of free bananas. Oh, no, it wasn't endless. And that's what it was. I saw it earlier and I didn't even go for it. But anyway. Certain games like maybe a turn-based RPG or um, kind of like a, what are those visual novel type games? I don't really know any of, the, any of the names of them, but I know they're really popular. There's just certain games that I feel like don't really make for good YouTube content. I mean, maybe people make them work and I'm sure that there's plenty of opportunities to make anything work, but you know me personally, I don't, I don't see myself really enjoying watching or making content like that and we got ran that nut so fast look at that okay well that's the last puzzle piece that i could have gotten earlier but i didn't so we will take the consolation banana coin okay good for us we've unlocked the image so i don't think funky's flights are unlocked here yet no we do one more level and then we'll buy ourselves two times the amount of toys. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you next time. Bye.